fort doesn't look as abandoned as it should. Looks occupied as can be. I will need something to draw their attention then. Once you lose sight of me, wait for ten minutes, then bombard the fort. I will slip out under cover of the shelling. Aye, aye, sir. Sounds a trifle dangerous, but I'm sure you're up to it. I doubt they let convicted pirates like old Lucky Lem out of his cell much, so if his little scroll is anywhere, it's there. to circle around to avoid the courtyard. Ah, it's probably a gull or a wreck. It's the only intruders we get here anyway. Preposterous. I was me across the ocean to play sentry on some... attack this fort, I ask you? Nobody. No reason to. They sent us here because the captain did something wrong. Like what? Buggered if I know. I wager he buggered something. <laughs> Come on, bitch. And keep watch. Yeah, yeah. Double time! We'll get the whip if we're late for the captain's address. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Against the rebels at all costs! 
and that is all that need concern you. You are not trained to comment on strategy, nor are you aware of rebel movement. out of his head. Who would do that to a man? That's why... Jack and I deserved everything he got. We won't tolerate such behavior. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. He didn't mean anything by what he said. Well, you're getting stuck. I just don't think it's right. lies under the eagle's bed. Let's see what you got, rebel. You're late, Captain. Those occupying the fort were less than thrilled by my presence. And? And what? The damn scroll, you muckworm. Was it there? That it was, Mr. Faulkner. Ship's graveyard's just around the point. Can't miss it. The men say Abel Owens was aboard one of the doomed vessels. If it's true, you'll find what's left of him here. Scavengers love the graveyard, so be on your guard. Huh. 
If Abel Owen's ship wrecked around here, they must have been looking for something themselves. Another ship. Scavengers. Put that down! Piss off! I found it! Tis mine! Stop! Leave me be! I found it! What you carry is mine! Nice try! Not that easy. It's not yours! Leave me alone! Why are you taking me? I've done nothing wrong! Stop and give me what I came for! Over. Sorry, mate. Looks like you lost this treasure hunt. Are gone. Near the wolves' abode. Joseph Palmer retired to Jamaica, somewhere around this castle. Faulkner said the scroll would likely have ended up in Lord Lewis Hutchinson's pro This place has seen much evil. Hutchinson's personal museum. Kid Scroll must be here somewhere.
shot must have come from the balcony. The killer must have chased his prey, but through where? of the mask is broken. understand how anyone could live here. Small wonder Hutchinson went mad. This place feels mad. There must be some clues around that can help me with this. tree kissed by fire.
I'll stay with our ride, Captain. Make sure nothing happens to it. Good. There is a temple on the island. What I seek is likely in there. No chance of staying dry today. Kid's treasure is probably inside that pyramid. <laughs> there must be an easier way. No small wonder this temple has not collapsed yet. I need to find a way back up to the treasure room. These should hold.
Faulkner's guess better be right. Why anyone would believe the Northwest Passage exists is beyond me. The Octavius, Hendrik Vanderhall's first and last captaincy. Hendrik Vanderhall, Captain Kidd's quartermaster turned captain himself. The path you sought never existed, Hendrik. I hope your suffering was short. Get out of this thing! I must get out!
Dress the rock that doesn't fit. What you make of it? They all appear to be parts of the same piece of leather. It lies under the eagle's bed near the wolf's abode, close to a tree kissed by fire and abreast the rock that does not fit, and a route to an island. The symbols remain elusive. That's Oak Island. I've sailed past it half a hundred times. A forgettable isle, to say the least. The location seems to be the easy part. Aye. And we'll be waiting for you the moment you want to get after it. You actually found something? <laughs> I'm a little on edge, Captain. The prospect of Captain Kidd's treasure and the mysteries that lie with it have me a trifle spooked. Stay your anxiety. It is likely only treasure. I thought the same thing, but considering what the man went through to hide it, I'm not so sure. All those scrolls lead us to the belly of this remote island. Awful out of the way, Captain. What was Kit hiding for cripe's sake? I do not know, but I am intrigued to find out. Remember what was written? Close to a tree kissed by fire, near the wolves' abode, under the eagle's bed and the rock that does not fit. Whatever that means. Do you think there might be landmarks? Possibly. it is how in the you figured it out 
Oh, that's why you're the captain. Bloody wolves are a captain! That's a bloody big piece of stone. Any ideas? Perhaps some gunpowder would move it. A nice big explosion, eh? Might do the job. We'll do well to scare away any more blasted wolves, that's for certain. <clears throat> I ought to be enough.
This is what Captain Kidd suffered over for so long. Astonishing. for a moment, Captain. Are you all right? Yes. I think so. What happened down there? What did you find? That's it. A single gold coin. There was nothing else. Was the cash pilfered already? Ah! What the devil? I do not know how it works, but I now understand why Kid valued it so. Curious little piece, isn't it? Well, I've worked my incredible and bottomless magic, and that little thing is, in fact, of first civilization origin. It seems they use them as personal shields. It gives off a rather powerful electromagnetic field, explains its aversion to metal, also explains why Kid's legend tells of him being invincible. Having that trinket in your pocket would easily bend a musket ball's trajectory. Nifty little thing, really. Anyway, just thought you want to know. Please do carry on. Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without peer. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship and a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Hmm? And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from your town.
reinforcements! They will come. We must hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness! You're alone and we're without reinforcements! They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you asked for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu, récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite
Hello, Connor. Welcome back. Is everything in place? Oui. Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. Doctor, you need to help me. You won't lose your leg that much, I can promise you. But it will hurt some for a time longer. Honor! I simply can't get to all these men in reasonable time. I need help. From you, from anyone! I think I have someone for you. Diana, come with me. I need your help. What's the matter? Dr. White is overwhelmed and needs some extra hands. I'm no doctor, Connor. Maybe not. But I have seen you care for people before. You have the way of it. Diana! Perfect! I'm told you have a healer's hand. Please see to this young man. Connor, if you could help the two gentlemen out front. Thanks, Skip. Good of you to help. I should be all right. Many thanks, Captain. That's a spot better, sir. Thanks. Caught a piece of shrapnel in the shoulder. Bad luck. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Caught some burn off a rope. It happens. Thanks, Skipper. You did well, Connor. But Diana, you impressed me greatly. W well, thank you, Doctor. I haven't studied the practice or anything. Maybe not, but your instincts are superb, and you have a healer's touch. If you had the time, I would be grateful for your help on a more regular basis. Might be Catherine could watch the young ones a few days a week. And if she can't, we'll find someone who will. Old man. Achilles.
What is it? Achilles has passed. I'm so sorry. He passed peacefully and with dignity. A service, then? Yes. Please prepare something appropriate. I will see the grave is dug. Can you gather everyone? Anna, if you are reading this, I have failed to say goodbye as I wanted, but the time never seemed appropriate. I leave this land and all its resources to you. I trust you now know this place has become something of great significance. A community to serve as an example of what this would-be nation could become. But the larger and stronger it grows, the more fragile and difficult to defend it becomes. I hope your friends who are birthing this infant country understand this truth. Your unwavering tenacity and honesty have burdened you with responsibility far greater than any one man should bear. But you, if anyone, are capable. You have given an old man hope that all is not lost. And for that, I thank you. I ask that you lay my bones to rest on the hill overlooking the water. There is no other place on this earth I'd rather be. I am grateful to have met you, knowing you will guide this land and these people to a better future. Yours in brotherhood, a key. Prayer and sermon do not suit this occasion. Achilles was not a man of God, not my God at any rate. But he certainly believed in a guiding force, and he is at peace now, and for that we can be grateful. We lay him to rest here, atop the bluff where he made his honorable and dignified life, so he can remain that comforting presence, the old man on the hill that we have all grown to depend on. You all had your own relationships with him, your own moments, and I implore you to return here when the time is right for you and share those stories with the waves and the trees. Achilles, you will be missed, but never forgotten. Go safely, old man, safely to where your soul need rest. I will make you proud, old man. <laughs> 